what's happening guys so I'm gonna go ahead and do this video uh, I've never done this one yet on my channel but I've looked into this a little bit and I've seen stuff on it and it made perfect sense to me because the fact that I even read into it a little bit where I seen this uh, it, it made more sense because I've seen stuff like this before from certain people and behaviors now Understand that narcissists are very controlling and dominant people, like, whenever you come around them. Not right away, but whenever, you, whenever they really get comfortable around you. And it's normal for some people to obviously get more comfortable around certain people. But... It's different with narcs. Because once they get really comfortable around certain people, the disrespect comes. All these things come. The gaslighting, the manipulating. All these things. It's, it's their game and it's their world and you're in it. Now, <sighs> they act like this around, like I said, around the people that they get really comfortable around, but they act completely different to other people. That's why whenever it's just you and the narcissist, let's say you're in a relationship with one, the relationship they have with you is very, very, very unique. Very unique. Because they can, they see who you are, they can read you as well. And the most important thing is you also being able to read them. So you can you know what's going on, so you can get your ass out of that situation. But you might be in a situation where, like I said, it's you in a relationship with them, and it's it's just you guys most of the time. And they're gonna act very different with you whenever it's just you and them, rather than whenever you guys go around other people or other people come around. They're gonna they're gonna act completely different. And I've even had people like this, and I don't even want to start saying because I don't expose anybody on this channel. Um, no names, nothing like that. But I've been in situations where I've been at a house, and these people are treating me some type of way that's not good. And other people would come. And I remember whenever I, I was young and this was happening. And they would put on a completely different mask whenever these people would show up as if they're this such a nice person. Like such a nice person. And I literally remember as a kid saying in front of everybody. I looked at the person when everyone was around and everybody heard me. I was like, why do you act so different? And why are you so nice whenever they come around? And everybody would just laugh and like not take it too serious. But they thought it was funny because they believed me too. <clears throat> um, and it kind of embarrassed this person a little bit. Not not fully, but just like, ah, like what do you mean? Like, just, you know what I mean? And it's funny because that's what they're like, guys. I, I, I shit you not. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Because whenever I read up on this topic of what... I'm speaking on right now on this channel in this video these are things that that came to mind like right away and now I'm making a video about it so but yeah this stuff does exist these people do exist these behaviors do exist and you have to be careful of these because you are dealing with the fakest person on the face of this planet. They have a million different personalities. And yes, some people can have a couple different personalities. I have a more serious personality. I have a more funny and outgoing personality. I have a few different personalities, but it's not like crazy. You know what I mean? Like, we all have emotions. We, we can all be sad, mad, glad, upset, up, down, whatever. You know what I mean? But like... Theirs is seriously, seriously crazy. Like they, they're, they're not even like real emotions. It's all an act. 
so they don't even like feel emotions because narcissists usually don't they just they don't even know what they feel I don't even know what they feel I wouldn't want to know what they feel because they can't feel and I feel that anybody on this planet could get themselves to a point where they don't really feel emotions anymore and that is a place I will never get myself to because I take too good a care of myself I'm too disciplined I'm too switched on for these things to happen and there's so many bad things that have happened in my life in the past that could have caused something like this to happen but it just never could I dealt with all my pain and the downs the best way I possibly could have and felt all of that pain right away I didn't put anything on the back burner I didn't start living this delusional fake life feel your pain right now and deal with it deal with having bad days right now if you have to be honest with yourself be open with yourself don't pretend to be something that you're not don't get off track like that and don't start living this fake identity that everything's so good when it's not and your emotions are just not there because a lot of people are doing that in today's society and you would be surprised who these people are because I've seen a lot of shit and I've talked to a lot of people I've talked to a lot of females a lot of these females some of the best looking ones they are like that and it's no longer a surprise to me and honestly sometimes it does catch me by surprise at least a little bit because you can sometimes think like damn like I got myself a good girl right now with a good head in her shoulders, this, that, that, and this. Like, it, everything is looking good right now, and all of a sudden, there's a whole other side that you did not see, and then you start putting the pieces of the puzzle together, and once you start to get to know somebody more, it's like, damn, I didn't think it was like that. Exactly. Because a lot of people are wearing these fake masks. A lot of people are not open enough about who they are and what they've been through. With me, I don't forget. I don't forget the stuff I've been through. I don't forget any of that. And I dealt with it, like I said, the best way I possibly could have. I allow myself to feel pain whenever it comes. I don't put things in the back burner and pretend to be so happy all the time. For no reason. At all. Like, I don't get why a lot of people in today's society have to prove, like themselves all the time how happy they are trying their hardest to smile as big as they can every single day it's like no one else like a lot of other people aren't seeing through this but I'm seeing directly through this and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go hate and bash these people for smiling but like I, I know that's not actually how you're feeling all the time I can literally see through you easy as anything and I'm not a person to sit here and say and you guys know because I've said it a million times on this channel that life is not all sunshine and rainbows it's not happy all the time it's just not and I actually like that I think hap like obviously happiness is important but it's overrated like in a way to me because I don't I don't get myself too high I don't get myself in the high of highs and try to you know live a perfect flawless day with so much happiness I just that's not that's not my way of life and I feel even whenever I got sucked into certain things like this it's like let's wake up let's have a good time as soon as we wake up let's continue the day let's have good times all throughout the day you're not gonna get anything productive done and the next day is gonna be so low because the things you did was so good today and when you have to come to tomorrow and and actually get to it, it's going to be so shitty. That's why I don't take vacations, guys. Not right now. And I haven't whenever I was younger either because you're going to go to the highest of highs. No responsibilities when you're on vacation. You're taking an entire week plus maybe a few days less for some people. 
you're sipping pina coladas, you're on a hot beach, you have nothing. No responsibilities, not a care in the world. You're going to come back to a complete dump. A complete dump of a life. And that's why most people take vacations, because they do have a dump of a life. I'm not saying all people, but, you know, some do. And reality hits. Now they're way worse, because... They took a vacation, spent thousands of dollars, now they're in the hole, now they're broke, now they're living a sad, miserable life. When they could have been grinding and hustling to make life better. That's why I'm saying it's not all sunshine and rainbows, it's not all smiles all the time. And yes, happiness is good, you should have a lot of it in your life. You should be laughing and smiling every day, at least to some extent. You should be enjoying yourself every day to some extent. There's no day where it's just all pain, no pleasure, no nothing like that. Because I have happiness every single day. I have pleasures every single day. Nothing too serious though. I, I ease off on pleasures. I don't, you know, a lot of people have a lot more than me. A lot of people have a lot more happiness than me on a day-to-day -day basis. I just, I know how I live, and it's good enough for me. It's seriously good enough for me. I'm not saying I'm satisfied, because I'm absolutely not satisfied. But I give myself enough happiness and bliss and all these things in the run of a day to get everything else done. And it's enough. I don't need an overflowing amount of those things. I don't need to be smiling from ear to ear 24 hours in the, in the run of a day. It's just, you know, I take, I have my serious moments in my day where it's serious stuff. And I think that's fun. I like that. I enjoy that stuff. Because a lot of that kind of stuff is what pays off. I enjoy that. I enjoy that feeling. I enjoy the feeling of accomplishment. It feels good. You know what doesn't feel good? Smiling ear to ear 24 hours in, in, in the run of a day. Doing dumb shit and not doing anything. It's an unfulfilling feeling. Because I'm a future type of person. I'm a future oriented type of person not to the point where I'm thinking in the future all the time but a lot of the work that I do is like for the future like I, I think strongly about the future while living in the while living in the present if that makes sense and I just feel a lot of people are almost too present they're not thinking about their future at all they're not thinking of the consequences of how they're going to be in the future you have to invest today to make that better, to make your future better. It's called being ahead of the game. And a lot of people aren't doing that. A lot of people like to live. Let's just live for today, YOLO. You only live once, yay. Let's be weak and let's give ourselves so much stuff today that we don't deserve. No. You're not a professional athlete at the age of 40 to 45 on your way to retiring with millions and millions and millions in the bank. You got people in their young 20s that ain't done nothing that think they deserve all these things. And it's just hilarious to me. You got a long ways to go. A long ways to go. And you're not going to make it any better for yourself by smiling ear to ear today, thinking you have it made right now. It's all these people, I'm gonna be honest guys, that are in for a rude awakening. And it's not like I'm sitting here saying don't smile, because you guys know I'm not saying that. But there's an extent where you gotta, you gotta ease off on that bullshit. Seriously. It's not gonna do nothing for you. You're just giving yourself pleasure all the time. Dopamine all the time. All the time, all the time, all the time. Pretty soon that's not going to be any fun. Because you're used to it. 
you're going to need something hard and higher and higher. This is when people get into drugs and they're used to a drug. Now they need another drug higher and higher and higher. They're distracting themselves from their life is what they're doing. By, by doing these things. When you got to get on your life, you have to make your work and everything you do a good time. I think that's very important when it comes to life. Live a life you don't need a vacation from. That's what they say. That's what I'm trying to explain in this video, guys. And it's the honest to God truth. But anyways, I got a little off topic. But I had to say what I had to say. Because it is the truth. And, um... We're about to wrap this video up. The topic of this video was, um... The shy narcissist, right? I want to end it on a high note by saying... One more thing about this to get you guys not forgetting what we started to talk about in the start of this video. Although you could rewind the video and go back at the start. Um, these people are very slick. And you will not catch them if you don't have experience with them. So this video is all the experience you need to know what you're dealing with. Right? Don't be fooled. They do not have empathy. They are not humble. They are none of these things. They are frauds. They are con artists. So be aware. Now, now I'm going to end this video. Um, you guys can leave any video requests or anything like that in the comment section if you just want to. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with more videos, guys, like always. It's going to be a hell of a day here tomorrow, where I come from. It's going to be the hottest day of the year so far. It'll probably be the hottest day up until June, which is going to come soon, too. But tomorrow's going to be by far the hottest day, and I'll be spending a lot of time outdoors with some mates. So, But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of this day slash evening and make the best out of it every single day work hard play hard get it all done be serious have fun and do what you do best <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys are watching the playoffs right now but it's the best hockey I've ever seen ever if you guys like NHL at all, if you guys like playoff hockey at all, I suggest watching these games. I'm about to catch the third period right now on the final final game right now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.